Okay, I thought this whole uh, uh, issue with roll centers and uh, camber gains and stuff was something that was uh, worthwhile to uh, show an RC crew chief here. It's a lot easier to visualize and describe things when you got a image in front of you than just using words. Um, so here's what we've got. I've got the X-ray T4 up here. Uh, I'm just going to look at the front suspension. So we've got the arm set right now where I've got the roll center pretty much as low as I can get it. Camber gain is very near zero. And the other number we're going to look at here is our chassis roll sensitivity. So this number here is the indicator of how stiff or soft the chassis is, how much it's going to roll as a function of the lateral acceleration that's applied to the to the car. So in this case at 1G you would get a little over one degree of chassis roll. Okay, so let's get into this. So we're going to lower the front arm. So we're going to pull two millimeter shims out of there. And that has increased our camera gain. So we went from negative 0.06 to 0.16, so 0.22 degrees. So a fair amount of camera gain change. And our roll center has increased. It's raised up to point or 6.7. And our chassis roll sensitivity has changed slightly, so we've only got about two percent increase in the uh, in the stiffness because of our roll center change. So let's move this even further. Let's play with the lower arm. So let's raise the lower arm up. So we're going to move it up as high as we can. So I've got it up as high. So that represents a two millimeter change uh, up in the lower arm. So now we can see our camera gain has gone up even more. We we're up at three more point three five. And our uh, roll center is now at minus two, and our chassis sensitivity has increased a fair bit as well. So now we're at, uh, we have almost 10% increase in our overall roll stiffness uh, of, the, uh, of the car. So let's see what happens now actually with our, our uh, camber as we look at it in the dynamic situation. So here we have, we're at our base setup. We haven't uh, haven't made any changes here. So what we're going to do is two things. We're going to first look at, you can see here, this is the roll angle versus lateral G, which is essentially your roll sensitivity. So at 1G, uh, we were on our base setup at 1.02 degrees. So this whole thing here is calculated totally differently. So we're very close, 1.01, we're 1.04. Um, the other thing we want to look at here is where we're starting with with our camber. So we're just going to look at it out here at two. Um, so at two degrees with this setup, we would have 0.5 degrees positive camber. So we're actually rolling beyond the zero point here on our outside tire. On the inside, uh, we're down here at about three and a half. So we'll just use those numbers and we'll do some comparisons here. So now I'm going to lower my upper arm and apply that change. Okay, apply it. And now let's see where we're at. So we were at 0 0.51 there. Now we're at 0.29. And on the lower side, we're now at minus 3.2. So not only have we reduced or, or retained more of the camber, we've also narrowed this band. So let's move one more step. Let's move our bottom one where we had it. Let's move it up. Why not? Goes out. So now let's see where we're at. So we were at 0.29. Now we're at 0 0.06. We were at 3.29. Come on. Get in there. Now we're at 2.96. So now our total range is uh, approximately three degrees. We're now back to near zero camber, and we haven't done anything to our static camber settings. We're still set at 1.5, minus 1.5 on the front. So the whole point of this is, is that as you're making changes to the uh, theoretically just roll center, you're also affecting camber gain. So you can be in a situation where you see you're trying to reduce front grip and you're actually increasing it because you're, you have more, uh, you've retained more of your static camber uh, when you get out to the higher G levels. So that's it.